Hey what up guys, it is Kaido, and yes you can see it right there, the next update 1.1, we just got brand new information, and in front of me there is a skiing challenge, a skiing tactical hologram will be added in 1.1, I just saw this, and yes we are going to talk about all the new things that they just announced, and it's pretty cool, we also get a new weapon that seems to be an instrument, but actually let's jump into every little detail. They literally just dropped this, I'm really excited. And they actually got us a nice overview of the new zone and the challenges and the new stuff that you can collect in the world. Also about the new puzzles, there's also gonna be a bunch of new stuff. Let's jump into it. First, we can see Mount Firmament again. This picture was already shown by, I guess, the cinematic, the trailer that we've seen. First new event is the Tales of Mount Firmament, an area exploration event. It also says here, Mount Firmament is a remote island with its connection severed to the secular world. Legend has it that Sentinel Jewel first scanned it here. So it's, a, it's gonna be an island or something else, and we will have to do an unlock quest or a peak quest to unlock this new zone. Which it also says here, you have to reach Union level 14 to visit Mount Firmament. This new event will be live on the exact day when the new update comes out, which means June 28. With June 28, there will also be the new character banner, Yinzi, which I'm personally very excited for. She's best girl. Forget about Chongli. <laughs> Okay, rewards is divided into four stages. This event will have separate stages unlocked according to the progress of the main quest by completing exploration, puzzle solving, battle challenges, gathering, and other quests available in the Mount Firmament area. You will be rewarded with diverse rewards. So this whole event basically is a whole package by doing everything in this new zone, basically. So the more you do in a new zone, the more rewards you will get, which is simply amazing and motivates the players even more then it already motivates you, right? We get more rewards. The next event is the photo collection event, Traces of Mount Firmament, which here it says, according to Uncle Fu, he claims to possess a treasure resembling a scale capable of performing chrono tracing. The ability to repli replicate past events across time and space. Seems like a time device that you can change time with. So this event starts also when the, when the new update is live, which means June 28th again, and will be available until July 13, which means basically two weeks. Complete the side quest scale of past to unlock this new event. As you guys can see, we get a bunch of rewards by doing the pictures. And yes, you have to do like certain pictures, correct photos of a targeted location, which if you played Genshin, I think it's gonna be pretty similar. So where we have Astride as rewards, we have uh, Resonator potions, Echo material potions, and XP materials and shell credits. Even more rewards, guys. Area quests. We get a bunch of area quests. So this new area is also connected with a new quest, which where you have to connect light beam devices with the mouth of the dragon mouth mountain, which I call it like that. So there's a mountain that looks like a dragon mouth, and these laser beams have to connect with each other and lead into the mouth of the dragon. This is going to be the huge um, puzzle or the huge quest basically about this zone. Which here it says also, um, standing in the wilderness, a determined young woman strives to perform a sacred rite for the sentinel world's being. Help her fulfill the rite of offering and uphold this ancient tra tra tradition. This is maybe talking about Yinzi, but sadly it's not announced here. Um, it might be related to Yinzi. Sounds like it. There's also a side quest which is called Dance Dance Kelonian. On an island in the middle of a lake near Hong Sen, a hot toy seems to be having a conflict. Do tested discords also fight among themselves? So you can see it in the middle of a bunch of monsters and birds or whatever these things are, these insects. Um, there is a dead turtle or a turtle that got hit and stopped dancing. I wonder if this is going to be a dancing event or dancing turtle event, because we also get an instrument here, very interesting, a broadsword, which is a free star weapon. Um, I don't know why it's just a free star thing, but it might even be a freaking instrument. I'm not sure. Because it says here, you can receive Bro Blade Beguiling Melody after com completion of the above quest. So there's gonna be a new quest, guys, with Dance Dance Kelonian. <laughs> it sounds funny, and we also get a freestyle weapon. I hope it's at least maybe usable as an instrument or something else, because I don't see a using a freestyle weapon making sense. Ah, we will see, I guess. It looks like an instrument at least. Maybe we can play music, guys. Who knows? Who knows? Also a bunch of new scenes, as you can see here, some of the buildings and areas that we have in the new zone, which one of the first one is Hong Sen. I guess it's a city in this new area. 
The next one is the Truth Seekers Pass. Uh, it looks pretty big. This new zone actually looks pretty big, man. Um, next one is Me and Loon Chamber. Uh, and I guess it's inside of a cave with a little bit of water there. And this is the Longs, or Loons, Longs Crest. I don't know how to pronounce these things, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, a bunch of new areas to explore for us. And let's move on to the mechanics, because there's actually pretty something cool coming up soon. New mechanic is the Chrono Sorter. We see here we can use a device, a new puzzle device, which lets us um, basically travel through time or let us change things around the area. We can rebuild bridges, for example. So this thing is going to be the new gimmick or the new feature in this new zone, one of them at least. And there's also this photon vault and photon barrier, which where you need to shoot these two things or a bunch of things to open up uh, locked zones. We can see here there's a light barrier closing the, the entrance to the mine. And if you shoot these things, the mine is basically open. You can also use, use basic attacks, by the way, you don't have to shoot it, which is very relieving because I really don't like swapping to a new team just to shoot stuff. It's very annoying. So I really do appreciate this little change here and mentioning this. And also, guys, we know traveling in the game is already fun enough, right? But they are making it even more fun and even easier. Hey, you don't need to climb this whole mountain, guys. There is a jump pad. These jump pads will lead you up to the mountains. Amazing. Stand on the leap device for a moment to launch yourself in your target direction. Isn't that crazy, man? They just keep making the game better and better. And this is just such a good sign for me that they just keep on improving the game, making it even easier to traverse, making it even faster to travel. I'm just blown away, man. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Next up, the challenges. The Echo Challenge uh, is the first one with Clang Bang. You can transform basically into this ice cube and you need to basically just shoot yourself or complete certain puzzles with this ice cube. You, we can destroy walls with this, ice walls, and you also can jump into um, these ice cubes piles to make a certain form or create a certain form and this puzzle will be done. Looks pretty easy. I like simple puzzles. I'm a big fan of this already. Next up is the tactical hologram skiing. Man, this looks so much fun. I actually was talking about this in my last streams. By the way, go over to Twitch. I'm live every day. Twitch.tv slash Kaido Underline TV. The new skiing feature. I was literally talking about this and now it's in the game. One update later. Who would have thought? Man. Okay, we're gonna be able to glide basically or slide down mountains and it looks very fun. Another tra traveling challenge, another traveling thing to do. So the whole mountain is basically with, filled with snow and that's a new zone, guys. Very, very cool. I'm very excited to play this. It's just a few days left and we are able to play this, guys. I'm very excited, guys. Tell me in the comments, are you guys excited as well? And this is not the last thing. Here we go with another thing, which is the wind chimer. And these are probably the things that we have to collect. So the new um, animal colloculus, whatever they call it in Genshin, the new stuff that we have to collect around the map, which I hope you can actually look up this thing with the loot mapper, which I assume, I guess. But yes, there's this wind chimers can convert sounds into an energy flow that enhances instruments and improves their tunes. To repair a damaged sitter, Xiongdei in Hongshen is seeking wind chimers. And how you do this is wind chimers are scattered around um, across Mount Firmament and can be collected by using basic attack or range attack. Again, really appreciate it that we can use any character to just pick these things up. And yes, you just shoot these things or hit these things and you can collect them. Very easy, very easy explained. Sadly, they don't show any news about 1.2 or Jinsi's kit, sadly no news about this, but I'm very, very excited to, for this. Also very thankful that they keep giving us more information almost every day about the new update that's coming up so soon. I'm looking forward to the 1.2 drip marketing though, which should be, I guess, revealed soon. Everybody's talking about the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. And if you want to see it next time as fast as possible, subscribe to my channel. I will keep you guys updated anytime if there is something new. I will talk about it on my channel. Also, join the Discord if you want to have bottom and waves discussions and look for people to play with. We are a very wholesome community. Join up. That's basically it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about this. Are you excited for the skiing event or some of the new stuff that we've seen? And yeah, let me know, guys, and I see you in the next one, okay? Bye bye. Good only one, 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 world, one love, but the battle goes on shadows of mass destruction. Ooh, yeah.
Baby baby, do 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 do